PC Gamer, a website about gaming. I genuinely feel like that even Last of Us 2 didn't have this big of a controversy. I could be wrong, wrong. because I'm a man and, and you're always just manipulating. I'll tell you a secret, okay? This is gonna sound insane. This is really gonna sound insane, okay? This might open up your third eye. Hi, bucko. So apparently a lot of people are really mad and they are trying to shut this game down so bad that it is backfiring. Bruh. This game is killing it right now. It is successful. IGN gave this game 9 out of 10 and a lot of people just couldn't even compute but then quickly after they apologized Bruh. They really did apologize but ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get right into the story. This is truly insane There is a lot going around drop a thumbs up if you're a giga chat and you understand that this is a game And there's nothing to be mad about uh, drop a thumbs up and let's roll Hogwarts Legacy has only been out for a number of hours and it already has stirred up a ton of controversy Yes, sir. The one big shocker that came about just a number of hours ago was those review scores and which this game received glowing reviews. We talked about that in my last video. We went over some of those reviews, including some of the reactions from this gaming industry and the many outlets that did not get review codes from Warner Brothers. That was a deliberate move by WB because they w knew that a lot of these outlets, the Kotakus and Polygons, were not going to review the game, they were going to re review Rawling. And of course, that's going to impact the score and the overall score of Hogwarts Legacy. It was a smart move, maybe something that not everybody agrees with. And, and honestly, if you're looking to buy this game based off of the reviews, uh, you are shooting yourself on the foot, especially with this game. It's good that majority is giving it 9 out of 10 but again like listen Bruh. i'm a fan of harry potter i played two hours the nostalgia trip that you get to see in the beginning it's basically hogwarts right something that be if you're a fan of harry potter it's something that you wanted to see and, and this is one of those games that's gonna be here for I, i'm assuming a decade and this is gonna be one of those games that people are gonna go back to replay and revisit here and there and it's actually quite wholesome the fact of the matter here is that we should keep things simple if you like what you see buy it if you do not like what you see don't buy it this is a game and the fact that people are getting this mad over this one that is truly insane because this is not this is never this never was and it's not even gonna be a topic of discussion in the east here in the west i guess we are all bored things have gotten let's just say a little out of hand what do i mean by that well in the last day or so there's been a lot of people attempting to tear this game down at any chance that they get the first thing was the combat people took out of context some early gameplay and they said this looks no better than forespoken and based on some <laughs> of the gameplay that we've now seen those who actually have forespoken forespoken really really are you guys out of your goddamn mind freaking dragons uh, mm -mm, i'm strong i'm independent that's what that was a uh, forespoken i know there are some people that actually enjoyed forespoken and same applies to that guys like listen listen everybody everybody gather on okay gather on if you like forespoken that is perfectly fine I'm personally not into that game I'm not gonna buy it because it doesn't like hit me in the G spot you, you know what I mean right Bruh. So that's the reason why I'm not gonna get Forspoken, but it, it's not like I'm not gonna buy Forspoken because I need to cancel the game. Guys, guys, listen. The same people that want free speech, those are the same people that are attacking other people of having free speech. In this day and age, it's apparently a crime to buy a game. It's apparently a crime to like a game. You can choose to not buy this game if you don't like it. That is perfectly fine. After all, it's your money, but to go one step ahead and be like, you should not buy the game. You like the fact that people are pointing their fingers and telling other people to not buy this game bruh that is truly truly insane we should buy this game if we like it if, if you if the game was buggy if the game is not something that you like uh, maybe it's not as advertised you saw the gameplay you're like eh, meh, it's not for me then you should absolutely not buy it. there's uh, nothing wrong with that we should have a discussion we should have an open dialogue agreeing and disagreeing is perfectly fine this is how we evolve as a species guys 30 to 40 hours that's just not the case the gameplay the combat it looks super fun and even myself, I've enjoyed what I have played of it. And then some individuals have said, wait, I'm confused. How come that other viral vid video negatively critiquing Hogwarts combat didn't show this type of gameplay? No one would purposely show footage with no spells or environment interactions and pass it as the overall combat oh experience. So what happened? And well, that's exactly what happened. There's narratives here. There's a lot of bad faith arguments that are being made against Hogwarts. True, Legacy. True. But even the most baffling thing that has come about is that there is a trans character in Hogwarts Legacy. And I, I, a lot I, I, of activists not. have gone online and they have said that this is a token character. This is just something that has been thrown in there and they've also really attacked the fact that the the name of the character is Serona Ryan because they're saying that this is just something that Rowling had to have approved of and as Bruh. Sophia Norowitz a trans person herself said this is just paranoia and delusion OMG go outside and eat grass because <laughs> this individual Laura Kate Dale saying of course Bruh. the Wizard Games trans woman oh character's God. name starts with Sir and ends in a masculine coded name like this is par for the course for Harry Potter this is such a trope Man. of naming conventions for trans characters in media and I just I, I genuinely feel like that even 
Last of Us 2 didn't have this big of a controversy. I could be wrong, wrong. because I'm a man and, and you're always just manipulating. I honestly think Avalanche Studios, anything that they did here, it was never going to be enough. And now the various gaming outlets, we talked about this last video, but one big thing that has been happening is the Kotakus and Polygons. They are very, very upset that this game is getting such positive coverage and that the reviews are not entirely about Rawling and her views. We had this individual from Inverse.com saying, I am no way surprised by the positive response to the Wizard game from many outlets who have reviews up to date. There is a lack of responsibility in reviews of the game to acknowledge the harm that comes with supporting it. And no, I don't think that's actually a thing. No one's going to be harmed because they're supporting Hogwarts Legacy. This is something that Bruh. people said about Cyberpunk 2077 prior to launch, that uh, this game supporting it was going to be harmful. And this person shared an article that they wrote a while ago saying, clapping for Hogwarts Legacy is bad and you should feel bad. Then we had another writer there. <laughs> a lot of people have been going after IGN for their- It's bad. You know, you, you should not be supporting this. This game is evil. This is th this game is, is going to be ending the world. It's it's bad. Review about the game because IGN's reviewer, the one that actually wanted to review this game, said that, that they just wanted to review it on the fun factor. And ooh, that is a no-no in this video game industry. Wrong. You can't say that. Wrong. We had a Wrong. writer for Gizmodo saying, our job as critics is to only discuss funness, not check notes, culture, politics, or society. I repeat, divorcing ourselves from reality is the only option. Obviously, that's sarcastic. They went on to say this is- They, they, they gave the game 9 out of 10, then they apologize. This is bad. And Rolling may not be involved, but the Pig Farts Legacy game absolutely puts money in her pocket and ups her cultural cachet. Like, I respect what IGN does, but F this. And again, as I explored in my last video, this journalist is just one example of the many going after IGN for the review. There's actually a viral Twitter post with over 50,000 likes in which they are very unhappy with this review, saying uh, the IGN review is the funniest piece of gaming writing ever. The game barely works. Inventory can hold four items. There are two enemies. The story and world building make no sense. An inset about how the author is- We are sorry for giving this game a 9 out of 10, guys. <laughs> We love Harry Potter. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Uh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. We love oh, it. We love it. Everything is so good about it. But you know what? You're still wrong. wrong. It's a nine, it's nine out of 10, but it's still bad. Say that, but I love Potter. So nine out of 10, it's literally like you can descendo into an incendiendo and then blow them away with F that and all I've ever wanted to do. Like how much Bruh. were you paid for this? And yeah, it seems like some people really cannot believe the fact that this game is getting rave reviews and they're now resorting to this has to be paid reviews. But if you actually check the IGN review, yes, it is critical about different aspects Man. of the game, some of which that Twitter user mentioned, but they also don't talk about how IGN really concentrates- In this day and age, you can never please uh, everyone, and it, it's fine, you should not be pleasing everyone. We're talking about a piece of art here, guys. We're talking about a video game, guys. Like, it's it's nothing serious. Every, everybody, gather on, okay? Gather on. It's nothing serious. It's a game, damn it. You don't like it, don't buy it. If you like it, buy it, okay? Simple as that. Simple as that. This shouldn't even be a conversation, but the fact of the matter here is that IGN gave it 9 out of 10. A lot of people that see the bull squash through their eyes. If you are, I'm, I'm pretty sure you are level-headed. If you're watching this video, most of you are level-headed. There was apparently girlfriend reviews that ended up crying on live stream because of her chat. Uh, the chat started saying, that, how dare you play Hogwarts Legacy? And then she started crying on stream. And I don't blame them because they have massive audiences. And most of their audiences, um, I'm assuming they have talk nothing but La La Land on their channel, on their stream, so they have gathered an audience that is all about La La Land. I'm really grateful, I'm really blessed to have you around. Surely we're gonna have bad apples, bad apples are everywhere. Bruh. But I'm sure if you are you are watching the video, you are level-headed, you are able to actually compute information, you understand the difference between opinions and facts, and you understand that there's an agenda being pushed down our throats right now, and especially here in the West, men, men are becoming more feminine, uh, females are becoming more masculine, you know, that's the agenda going around and I'm pretty certain based on the comments I get and based on the the engagement I get most of you are level-headed you understand that we can have a dialogue and it's perfectly fine having a conversation agreeing disagreeing that is perfectly fine this is yeah this is how we evolve as a species damn it but apparently the situation here is that if you give this game 9 out of 10 they will cancel you for that yeah that's a uh, that's wrong, wrong. You, you cannot you can that hurts my feelings that hurts my feelings you should not give it please don't give it 9 out of 10 but if you don't give it 9 out of 10 it's like just give the score based on the game if it's a good game, just keep it at that. If it's bad, give it 3 out of 10. <laughs> give it 0 Bruh. out of 10. No game is deserving of 0 out of 10. And majority of the game are not 10 out of 10. Let's keep a buck 50. But subjectively, it can be a 10 out of 10. For example, if you're a part of the Harry Potter universe, or, or if you're into it, you, you're a fan, you have been watching the movies, you have read the books, you are playing the game, you are liking the game. You can give this game a 10 out of 10 subjectively, but objectively, obviously, it's gonna have some flaws. Uh, it's not gonna work well with the with, with other people, and this game is surely not working with a lot of people Bruh. right now. I mean, this is. 
rated their review on the open world, the student fantasy, the memorable new characters, the amazing combat. Those are major aspects of the game that IGN brings up in their review and for why they gave the game a 9 out of 10. But that's not mentioned here because, again, these individuals, the internet mobs that have been going around, there is a narrative that they want to spread about Hogwarts Legacy, and that is that this game is harmful, dangerous because of Ron's views. Even though, again, she played no- But you are manipulating! It is harmful! ...creative role at all in this game's development. PC Gamer has since published a review in progress in which this has been catching a lot of heat on social media, but it'd be a lot easier to dismiss Hogwarts Bruh. Legacy if it weren't so good. PC Gamer. A website about gaming. Says Hogwarts Legacy review in progress. It would be a lot easier to dismiss Hogwarts Legacy if it weren't so good. So they're saying it's good. Bomba cut. But I'm, in, I'm impressed by my first 32 hours, but also haunted by JK Rowling. Good. I'm impressed by my first 32 hours, but also haunted by JK Rowling. That is actually what the review Bruh. headline says. It's it's crazy that this is a real thing that they wrote up. Uh, Gaming Axios website. published an article in which Hogwarts Legacy game launch becomes referendum on Rowling, and British gaming outlet Rock Paper Shotgun has decided they're not going to give any coverage to Hogwarts Legacy, oh, wow. and they are instead uh, talking about a bunch of- Strong, 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 strong. Strong, independent. Of other magic games. More power to them, I guess. And then Canadian outlet The Gamer said that they won't be reviewing Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, the Bruh. publication also won't be creating any online guides. This is not because of any issue with royalties or monetary support for Rowling, but because we feel the continued popularity of Harry Potter only provides her with a larger platform and further legitimizes her views, which we in turn feel are harmful to trans people. Now, some streamers have also been very vocal about their disdain for Hogwarts Legacy. We had one viral post uh, in which somebody posted a statement. Uh, Nicotine, I guess she's a Twitch streamer. She said that uh, a statement uh, guys, if you like the game, if you like the game, buy the, the game. Hogwarts Legacy is a product ultimately funding J. If you don't like the game, you don't have to buy it. I mean, bruh, bruh this is insane, man. Whose well-documented stance on trans people remains firmly rooted in a callous disregard for human life. Therefore, I will not be streaming to Twitch while the ad campaign is playing. And that is another thing a lot of Twitch streamers some of them have taken Yeah, of course, purple hair streamer is not going to stream it. Understandable. Boom, with that is because Hogwarts Legacy, the ads for it are appearing on Twitch. I mean, that just happens with any big release game, so I don't really know why that's too much of a surprise. But yes, there are some Twitch streamers that were very upset about this. But right now, again, there is a half a million people watching Twitch streams of Hogwarts Legacy. So the boycott campaign, the outrage, it has not worked. Although there is a new angle to this in which there are some online, some Twitter accounts going after those Twitch streamers that are actually engaging in playing Hogwarts Legacy. We had this viral Twitter post in which somebody actually made a <laughs> website in which you can Man. I guess boycott or cancel a Twitch streamer if they played hard. This is truly insane ladies and gentlemen. Bruh. This is this is that peak moment. We really hit that level as a as a species. There are that that this shows you people are really bored. People are really bored in in the West. They don't have anything. They don't have life desires. They don't have any goals. There's nothing going on in their life. This is why they're developing these websites where they can witch hunt the streamers that play the game on Twitch. And I'm saying, bro, like I search for my name because I wanted to see if I'm in the strong independent category. And surely my name is not there because I stream on YouTube. I streamed already. And, and, and I'm not a streamer, man. I'm not a streamer. If I was a streamer, I would have probably streamed again because, uh, damn it, man, I want to stream this game again because people are really getting mad. And that's only... Listen, man, I'll, I'll tell you a secret, okay? This is going to sound insane. This is really going to sound insane, okay? This might open up your third eye. Most of these uh, fools don't even have third eyes, let's be real, uh, right? Bruh. But it's going to open up your third eye, okay? Don't even... If you hate the game, don't even talk about it. That's that's it. That's it. Because the more you talk about it, the more you tell people to not buy the game, the more people will buy the game. That that that's what it is. It's like the reverse psychology. It's the the reverse marketing right now that's happening. Words legacy. And in this tweet, they wrote, "Introducing have they streamed that wizard game .com. Find out if anyone you follow on Twitch has streamed that new wizard Bruh. game. It's just bizarre the lengths that people are going to cancel <laughs> others just because they're playing this Harry Potter game. People trying to relive their childhood. I really do think Damn. it's ridiculous if we're not going to have discussions." about all the other controversies that have been happening in this video game industry. I saw somebody else point this out, that Polygon and Kotaku, all these other outlets, were very okay with reviewing Far Cry 6 while Ubisoft was right in the midst of a huge misconduct and abuse yeah. scandal, but I guess that changed now with Hogwarts Legacy. Now in terms of- And it's the same thing, right? Like, people are always like, you, 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 if you actually play this game, you are transphobic, transphobic, you are transphobic if you play this game. Bro, what we didn't witness happen with uh, Activision, they were stealing baddies milk, they had cameras installed in their public bathroom, they were spanking their female employees. We had that massive lawsuit. 
did people stop playing uh, Activision games? And absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, there are a lot of passionate devs out there. There are a lot of devs that didn't do any of that. And uh, does that mean that if you play Activision games, does that mean that you are part of that spanking female employees, this and that? Absolutely not. This is some of the most re-re situation ever. And, and the fact of the matter here is that if you have an iPhone, I personally got Samsung. I, I got Samsung. Samsung. Bruh. But but listen, if you have an iPhone and you're talking about it, you have lost all credibility. These mofos are actually talking about boycotting Hogwarts Legacy while being on an iPhone that has been because the chip and the stuff that goes into like iPhones and stuff like that. Most of the the, the process is being done through child ch it's child labor they all want to talk about stuff like that if you play hogwarts legacy you're transphobic so if you have an iphone does that mean that you support child slavery absolutely not it's just crazy to me but these people logic is just so flawed they don't even understand what they're saying half of the time well being canceled for playing hogwarts legacy it looks like we do have one major example and that is girlfriend reviews if you're not familiar that's yep. a big youtube channel a lot of wholesome content and they decided to play hogwarts legacy and that was a big no-no with their audience ba basically they have gathered their audience without any controversy and i can respect that uh, i mean listen man if they want to have positive positivity positive content that's beautiful that's respectful right that's uh, really truly is they would never talk about anything bad on their channel in my honest and humble opinion being positive all the time is also bad okay it's uh, you want to be realistic you want to be positive but realistic at the same time positivity and real being realistic about things it's a tag team and once you combine the two it's very very good and you can actually do a lot more with that but i got nothing against them in fact i have watched some of their videos in the past and they are pretty good in fact girlfriend reviews uh, god of war i did see that video very good video great content the fact of the matter here is that they are really really big understandably and deservingly so okay that's beautiful respect they're grinding they're getting big and that's awesome okay but with that comes the woke mob obviously they are attracting a different crowd that is positive strong independent they have level-headed people i'm pretty sure every every youtuber got level-headed people but the type of content they make attract beta maleness people that cannot even think for themselves that don't have any personality that don't have any character development that do not know how to think for themselves so apparently what happened here is that they were streaming hogwarts legacy wholesome stream they were doing what they basically wanted to do they wanted to enjoy the game it's a game simple as that it's nothing more nothing less they wanted to play the game and apparently people say yeah how dare you actually play how dare you actually play and they started crying on the stream apparently uh, uh his girlfriend started crying i mean listen that's kind of brat Bruh. to me but females are emotional so that's uh understandable and <laughs> And the truth here is that they will cancel you only if you let them. And now they're like, uh, we're not going to be streaming Hogwarts Legacy. Boom, oh God. Uh, they went on their Twitter account talking about it. Uh, they responded to a lot of criticism they were getting saying, hey, guys, I see a lot of you are not feeling this choice. So if you, we do go with the stream, you'll see that we are raising money for the Trevor Project for charity for trans people. While we play this game, we spent no money on. We'll play it again for free so you can know uh, how it is without people. People that want to cancel you, no matter what you do, they will still want to cancel you having to and yeah some of the responses still not cool pretty disappointing you guys to do this this <laughs> yeah. might be helpful in understanding why this still isn't the right there thing to do that's the sense of some of the comments but it gets much worse because actually on their stream they were being accused of being turfs and evil for playing the game and the girlfriend on girlfriend reviews actually appeared to be crying in the background uh, these are some of the viral videos that have now gone about there's just about two clips that are about a minute in full but you just get a sense of how awful some people are being online how toxic they are with uh just going after anybody for supporting or playing hogwarts like it's no matter Truly who they insane, are. man. You know, toxic yeah. and repeating yourself and just sitting here seething, being mad that we're, okay. that we're doing our job, you know? I'm serious. <laughs> it's a sub. It's a if I see you. I hear you. I love it. Thank you for your longtime support. I will personally ban you if you don't give it a rest. Yeah, we're taking your okay. opinions into consideration. You. We might not even make a YouTube video on this if that's Damn. whatever. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, you don't need to sit here and make us feel bad. Like, mm -hmm. but now it's like, whatever. I'm almost like thinking of just like either going offline or like, we're, I'm barely into the second combat here. And every time I look at chat, it's just the conversation is just like bothering me. Listen, I'm not laughing at her, but but it's it's truly insane. I'm laughing at the situation that uh, yeah, man, damn. So it started. I'll be right back. So they started saying, damn. Son. If you want, I'll just stop talking and I'll just go fight into the combat. Damn. Y'all done did it now. 
as rough as that is to watch, it's an example of how Hogwarts Legacy has quite literally turned into a war zone. The discourse surrounding this game is something that we have not seen before. I talked about the IGN review earlier, and there's just numerous posts that have gone viral with accusations that IGN's been paid off. Uh, there's a lot of people wondering why gamers care about IGN now. And then there's others arguing that IGN was scared to give a bad review, so they gave the game a 9 out of 10 just because. And then there's other posts of people going on the official Discord. There is no winning in this one. If they didn't give 9 out of 10, people were like, Oh my god! god. But give the game a review based on the game, based on the quality of the game and nothing else because you are reviewing a game, stick to the topic at hand and review the game based on the quality and not the politics. But Hog Hogwarts Legacy does not deserve to be reviewed on its own marriage, whether or not we want to admit it, it is impossible to talk positively about Hogwarts Legacy without harming a community of human beings. Um, the outrage surrounding Hogwarts Legacy is not going to be slowing down anytime soon. This is exactly what I and many of you expected to happen when this game did release, and here we are now. But ladies and gentlemen, this just happened! Click on this video on the screen, or click the video on the left. We apparently have a dev that talked about the multiplayer as well, and we have massive drama going around. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.